Heads up, we make adult reviews for adult gamers. Hey guys, it's Rachel from Two Bats. Welcome, welcome. I'm so glad you could join me. Gonna be doing the Fallout uh, Soul Survivor tonight. Let's see if I can get him in focus. There we go. It's gonna be awesome. And yes, I, cle I primed him in clear coat. Clear. Clear, so you don't see it. Yes, I prefer white. I did it clear. I'd already done it, and I didn't want to do it again. So there you go. I got a bunch of comments last time, making this clear. That it's clear. So I hope everyone's having a good night. Got a couple people in. This lovely Tuesday evening. Alright, I think... Let's go for the easy and the obvious first. I'm gonna go for the jumpsuit. I'm gonna be doing the Vallejo model color Prussian blue. Because Prussians are very good at blue. <laughs> Thank you, Caleb. Silent kills. Helping with the hype. And look, we listened to you and did it in IRL instead this time. Did you know better than me. Let's see. I think that brush is going to be too big. Go for something a little smaller and a little pointier. Go for round. It already has a little blue on it. How convenient. Just make it easier for me. It's like stupid blue. Fred is coming. Hold it up for me. There we go. Oh shit, that's cute. Hey! Awesome. What's going on, brown love? Thinner than I want it to be. Here's a piece of paper, like regular paper. Where's my reference sheet. Okay, that's a good blue. I don't like it. Am I being good? I am being good. I don't think I'm gonna get as fancy as I did on the death gesture, so. I think I can manage to stay on camera the entire time this time. I believe in me. I do. Oh, that's a boot. You're not going to make me wear the helmet on stream, are you? I'm not moving a lot. I, I think I'm okay. Although, admittedly, when I was playing around earlier, trying to figure out where I should sit, I, I may or may not have hit my head on the camera. Oops. But it's a good angle. This little webcam is kind of a dick with the focusing. Like the wacky to baggy. I intend to get around all these little straps. I don't have to do a bunch of work to go over it. Black Mamba, how's it going? And yeah, like you said, you're good. We just started. Look, he barely has legs. He's 
one go a little heavy for my taste. There we go. Paint survivor crotch, like you do. Every day, totally normal. Hopefully, my cider will not uh, inhibit me too much. Today was a long day. All day at work. It was dead kids and messed up paperwork. It's a bad, bad, heavy day. And it wasn't terrible. Everyone was very nice. I just felt so bad for them. The cider will make me forget. you all had a better day. I have to admit, I'm, I'm getting more used to the Twitch stream, but not being able to hear everybody and having to read it and then respond is really strange. I figure it's just one of those things you gotta get used to. everywhere. Oh god. it before and stuff but I do custom picture framing and you would be surprised at how much of my time is spent being a damn bartender without alcohol I end up with dealing with stuff you would never imagine it's so bizarre I do like it though I did not consider, when starting to paint this, that the model was going to be the same color as the mat. I think he stands out well enough, but that is kind of odd. I need to have multiple color backdrops. Just in case you just joined us, I would like to reiterate, I primed the, this model in blue, in a clear before I started. It's in clear, clear primer. I normally do, like doing white, but since these, since all the fallout ones are dirty and meant to be so in the first place, I don't mind doing it on top of the tan because it kind of gives you a little bit of that to start with. If it's brighter, sharper colors I'm going for, like with the Harlequins, then white's the way to go. 
But yes, it's clear primer. Sometimes it's hard to tell exactly where one piece of clothing begins and another one ends. Is that a full chest piece? I'm gonna put some up in here. I'm gonna need a smaller brush. I didn't think about the enforcer part of actual bartending. Yeah, at least I don't have to do that. I just have to be a psychiatrist. Brief counselor. Okay, does that look like oh, here, that's sort of you can sort of see it I can't tell if that piece under the straps is a is supposed to be like armor or part of his shirt or part of the jumpsuit hmm I'm gonna say jumpsuit I want it to be blue. Is it fucking up? Yeah, it's dropping frames. Not entirely personal. Not according to this, it is. It's definitely glitching. Maybe if I just hit it. <laughs> Percussive maintenance. Yeah, exactly. Like, it's dry. It's not saying that the S is dropping. Guys, is it is my stream going all janky on you? It is. Hmm. All right, we'll let it run and see if it clears up. All right, let me know if it's being weird, and I'll restart if I have to. Hopefully, it's just him. Minor. Beautiful. Thank you all. Appreciate that. Or his computer just sucks right now. Which is a hell of a lot better than any of yours. <laughs> I'm just gonna hit the camera a little. It deserved it. I'm switching brushes and hoping I can get a finer tip in this. I don't know what I did with my damn fine liner. I'm also too lazy to get up at the moment.
I'm just gonna have to go over this part and then go back over with the yellow when I'm ready. But it is just too tiny to not hit it at all. And then at least I want it to be even everywhere. crotch coverage. There we go. And go back over his upper body. It seemed to get a little less even coverage than his legs did. I kind of want to be the person that names nail polish colors though. I think that'd be fun. I just have like an entire wall of random words and throw darts at it. favorite was one called Break a Leg Warmer. I'm sure all of you men have vast experience in nail polish color names. It's all Twitch's fault. If I'm gonna mix in a little bit of the sun yellow. Also Vallejo. Really, the only citadels I'm using at the moment are the washes, because I got them first, and they still live, so I'm going to use them. Alright, so a little bit around the collar. Oh god, that's super yellow. I'll tone that down in a little while, when I do the washes on top. can't see the color too well on my palette. If you're mixing two, have two separate piles and then mix them together slowly, because that way you have a little more control. And you don't ruin your whole bit of paint. I'm gonna have to get my finer to do that. I'll do that in a little bit. That's annoying. Fix my blue. Yeah, I am really digging being able to have music on here. This is way better. I'm gonna do the leather. Go for leather brown. Gotta love the obvious. And I actually think that'll be a good color paired with the blue and the yellow. Because it's got a little bit of the yellow to it, but it's also a lot browner, obviously. Let's start with the boots. So are you gonna be too yellow? That friend 
don't watch it or for. And put a little bit of red on top. Give it a little more contrast. <clears throat> He has feet. At least, sort of. They're not pretty feet, but they're his feet. The yellow, the yellow for the details on the jumpsuit, or the one on the boots? He does, I'm gonna have to do some sort of wash, some sort of deeper brown or something. I'm not totally happy with this color yet. I'm doing in the Vallejo leather brown, which really looks yellow, like a nasty yellow. How that bag's not actually connected to him. So it is now. That's a difficult question because I didn't know we were in the information society. Keep details in. I don't like things that don't make sense. cuter so you know that helps like Lupa few things override make sense in this It's all right, monk. It's all right. You can yell boots at me. I'll try not to be triggered. I 
I figure I'll just go ahead and get a base coat of this. Magic Man is coming to help with the lag. <laughs> he should demand a raise. Put the link to the Patreon! <laughs> I can't pay him anymore. So I don't know who said it, but I think the Earthshade wash is a good idea for the boots. And various and sundry other leather bits. My whole chat went away other than that. <laughs> Hey, you gotta amuse yourself somehow. At least I'm not painting cats on random shit I own like last time. For now. For meow. I think I am gonna go ahead and put a different brown going in there. Ooh, I can get to use the dry rust this time. Maybe a little bit of bronze on the little pauldron. I really like that word. I want to like name something pauldron. I don't know what. I don't like any of these browns. Got a mahogany. Let's see. Let's see if I like that or not. This is the one. The bottle fucked up at some point. And like the it split. And so it dries up in there. And then it annoys me. It won't come out. I'm gonna poke it. Although that is literally the only one that's messed up on me. You. Need to shake. A lot of these I use a lot of it, but that one I don't, so the pigment's probably all settled at the bottom. Maybe if I mix a little bit of that. Is that better? Is that a better color? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna mix that extra. Actually, I do like that a little better. Maybe a little more mahogany. How's it looking? Oh, it's looking good. I'm just gonna turn it up for it. There we go. Your mic was low. Say something. Something. <laughs> You're smart ass. <laughs> you should be good. I did what I was told to do. Yeah, I think that's a better brown. Color is actually pretty good on this camera, and it's a the the brown I was using looks a little less yellow than on camera, but not by a lot. I'm gonna try and do a little mix. Keep keep it interesting. For. It's gonna be what it's for right now, though. Hmm. 
few of those straps in it too. We'll go back over the buckle in a little bit. Brown. I think when I do this deal over it, it'll look cool. I don't know if this part is supposed to be an ammo belt or not. I'm thinking not, but now I'm questioning myself. The little bumpies are weird, but it doesn't. It also doesn't seem to contain ammo. <clears throat> there you go. He's at least starting to look a little more interesting. No, I don't have the flow extender. Actually, I've been just using the wet palette, which helps. A great deal especially if you put the lid on it which I do not always do but that might be worth getting some of I do have the chipping medium that I haven't used yet at least not on anything legit other than fucking around so I'll have to find some use for that do a little bit on the boots. I'll probably still do the earth shade. I'm just trying to make it a little more something. It just seems so boring. I don't m actually mind right now that it's just kind of cooling in strange ways because I like that it makes it look a little more distressed and weird. Okay, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna mix a little bit of the leather brown, quote unquote, in with the rest of the sun yellow, and what was the other bronze flesh tone, and see if I can't get a little bit better of a yellow for the details, because that's just, it's like a zinky yellow. And I gotta be real, zinc yellow is not one of my favorite colors. It has its uses, don't get me wrong. It's just not an appetizing color. waste of yellow paint. I'll have to paint a rock with it. Yeah, the chipping mediums from the, like, special effects set... And it's got the chipping medium, and then it's got like dry rust 
fresh rust, dry blood, vomit. An oh so lovely color. It's pretty cool. That set has come in rather handy. to look all worn and aged and shitty. Turn it over. Try and get around there. Oops. Kinda good. Oh, I'm sad we lost everybody from stupid stream fuck ups. Ah, well. Kind of going over the leather bits to get a little more variation. So I think the wash will help, but I it's not gonna work miracles. I get a little more going on paint wise. Oh, uh, Mamba, yeah. I Fallout New Vegas is my favorite game of all time. If you go watch our Fallout board game review, you'll see how much I love Fallout. Our gaming room is pretty much Fallout themed. Like, if you look in our videos in the rear of them, you'll see like a new California Republic flag a lot of times and stuff like that. So, yes, I love the shit out of Fallout. We even made him a little uh, computer case, like the cab or like a cab for it, so he could put the rack mounted stuff and and his actual computer in it. That's all, it's a vault tech like, cabinet. It looks pretty awesome. Try and tone down that a little bit more. Oh, I'm gonna wash it, so I need to stop obsessing too much about getting the color absolutely perfect. Well, what do you guys think? I think he should be blonde. Yeah. Please 
ignore the sunny yellow. Ooh, maybe, maybe a little more of a platinum bond. A little bit of white. That's very yellow. That's like bad hair dye job. Okay, a good start. I'm trying to cover up the blue that got on his face. Oops. All right, let me switch to gunmetal and go ahead and do the gun and the pauldron. Which might actually mix a little bit of bronze in. I just like the way it looks. Just makes it a little bit warmer. And in this case, that means it looks dirtier. So that's almost like fabric or tape holding it together. I guess I'll leave that more or less alone. I hear things breaking in the kitchen. Should I be scared? Eh. God, I hope so. He better not be being a cookie monster. No more cookies. Oh no, didn't we do this already? Why does it always come back to cookies on this stream? Get back over the buckle. I like that 
I didn't really notice it had little rivets earlier. So I painted over it. It shall be metal now. Okay. This little guy is not entirely a one-to-one. -one. It's an actual survivor. So, I'm going to make some of this as, up as I go along. Put too long. Now it's asleep. Oh dear. Alright. Alright, since it's so hard to stay in focus the whole time. Here's a little update. check my colors all right let's see I'm gonna throw in a little bit of white the indigo bone white so it's not too bright on some of these little like fabric wrappy things like it's got some on the gun color variation. I don't want to go too crazy on the colors on these because since they're for the board game I really like I like having strong color differentiations between them between the different characters so that when you're playing you can easily tell who the hell you are Actually, I think I'm going to make that more of a fabric instead of a leather. I'm going to extend some of the colors. I kind of want to work in threes. That's generally a good 
easy way to go about it so that everything's distributed and it leads your eye alone around the object properly. Sometimes having one strong accent color can it can be by itself and that works nicely. But sometimes you want to kind of balance everything out. Maybe just do like a little bit over here. So there's some leather, some fabric. Oh, I missed a spot under his arm. Maybe I just rubbed it. I don't know. Something terrible happened. Might as well touch up a few little stray bits that happened. he needs a face. Although that is not a terrible skin color as is. I wonder if... I'm kind of thinking maybe just doing a quick wash on it will define it well enough. Alright, I'm gonna give him just a second to dry. Then I'm gonna start doing washes. We need to go back over it. No biggie. Oh, I... Do you want to do the before I start that? Go ahead and do the one eleven. Oh, the back fabric on this is so like the way they cast it to be wrinkled is very effective. All right, well, I think that's close enough. I think you can at least tell what it is, or what it's meant to be. All right. Okay, now chill to these cool beats. Sepia, that is not what I want. Earth shade. Here we go. Seems like as good a place to start as any. I'm gonna go back to my teeny tiny round brush. Great. This is probably like the simplest one I've done in ages. Feels too easy. But no sense in way over complicating it. Not when it's. There's no real point. Yeah, that looks way better already. Washed boot. Unwashed boot. Das boot. I got a little puddle. I fixed my puddle. That looks better.
gonna kind of do any of that color that presents itself to me at the moment. Work my way around him. Some of this I will go back and put some black in too. Just for a little extra definition. It won't be a ton because I don't want it to be too harsh. pretty shiny but the hand looks way better with just a wash I'm going to do his face brown him up a little bit been out in the desert sun at least been outside once in his life Thank you. You are so right. It does look better. It's such a like deeper color. So otherwise it just looks real flat and boring and yuck. covering of brown it's all faded and dusty to dry. Let me break out the black. Ooh. Yeah. I do a little dry brush in a minute. Actually, maybe I should dry brush it first. Let's see. And hit my vape a little. Do a little bit of the blue. So mix it with a little bit of that bone white. I'm kind of thinking, make it look a little more worn. Yeah, I'm gonna have to wait a little bit longer.
As I've been staring at this for a while, it's really beginning to bother me that his head is so damn big. Does his head not look oversized? Maybe the gun undersized? He's still pretty good. So call him the big headed survivor. That's probably good. Try and get it as dry as I can with a wet palette. That is a distinct issue. It's still a little too wet. Tell you what then. Let me go over his hair one more time. So get a little more coverage. I would really like to finish him tonight. I'm not even gonna lie. Kind of hitting some of the little details with a little bit of more of that yellow. I'm going crazy, just a few little highlights here and there. Maybe intelligent, maybe just thinks he is. Time will tell. Yeah, I think the black's gonna be the way to go. I actually think I might wait and actually dry brush it at the end. And I did actually run out of Citadel Black, so Vallejo it is. So Vallejo is a little thicker than the Citadel, so it helps to put a little bit of water in there. So the black I'm kind of just gonna I'm gonna hit some strategic spots, but also like where it would be really shadowed. Oh, that looks good on the boots. I like that. Look at that. Give them little docks. Actually, I'm kind of liking the way the black is working out on top of the brown, so I'm just going to kind of keep going. Feels a little more grungy.
He's a little pit boy. May or may not try and do some of the green in there. I think I'll really be able to manage his, like some lines. Nothing crazy. Go back over that where I want the deepest shadows to be. Pit. That got a little darker there than I wanted. Gonna blend that out a little bit. I wouldn't mind his face having a little more. Kind of dab it in and then dab it off. Very sinister with super black eyes. I think take that a little bit. a little bit of dark. very sinister. Eh, he'll be evil. It's fine. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and throw some highlights on because I am getting near done here with it and with myself. metal clasps and buckles and buttons. Yes. Evil vault hunters. Why not?
All right. Hopefully, that should be getting close to dry enough to do a dry brush. Because I would like to bring out a little more highlight than there is. <clears throat> Yeah, it's a cork with a uh, sticky tag on it that has gotten spray painted a little bit, but it still works. This has actually been incredibly, it's not the prettiest, but it has been extremely effective. That's quite handy. And you get more sticky tack than you know what to do with when you order it. Minnesotan? No, I, he's right. I am from Georgia, but my mom's from California. My dad's from Georgia. So, and he, but I, and my grand, his mom, my dad's mom is from uh, Michigan. So we both had this weird mix of northern and southern accents to grow up with. And so I ended up with this, whatever the hell it is. I'm sure there's times I sound more Southern than I do right now. <laughs> yeah, now I'm thinking about it. Although the funniest thing is Forrest is way more Southern than I am. And, but you can't tell as well until he starts talking about like building stuff or working on cars. That's what cracks me up. Then he goes like full Southern. Hilarious. I love it. It's so cute. There's a couple of places I feel like got too light and I want to bring a little more of the dark back. Then I swear I'm going to be done. You could do it. Ha! <laughs> 
<laughs> I like the NASCAR joke. That was good. I don't think either of us have ever been to NASCAR. I know his parents have tried to get us to go. You don't have to like the plastic. I can't, I mean, I'm, the first ones I did were plastic. He does have some old school pewter ones that I was thinking about trying to paint on stream one night. I, but I've never done the metal ones. So I'm like, ah, is there anything special I should know about pewter ones? In case I decide to do it. Alright, well that makes it easy. Thank you for your kind advice. Yeah, we did do the Star Realm. We the Star Wars rest the other night. We've been kind of doing whatever we end up feeling like on Twitch lately. But poor Forrest has been working his ass off for weeks now, so he needed a break. I was like, all right, I can paint. This was so much fun. Although your brain has to be working to play it. <laughs> Make sure that's true. But it is a lot of fun. I love the puzzle games. All right. feel left out. Yeah, that's true. But Azul's making pretty pictures anyway. So it's not like it's that bad of a deal. Because it has to be the right pretty picture. So fair enough. Not like Tetris. We can just do whatever the fuck you want. You don't even try and make pretty pictures in Castles of Burgundy. I just try and get all the mines. But I always win. So I guess my strategy is not bad. I think Forrest just likes getting the boat so he can go first. Alright, I think I might be calling this guy good. Let's do, let's do a check. Let me move stuff out of the way so we can get the, the full beautiful effect. so much. This has been fun. But, and I'll put him next to his his previous friends. Oh, what should we name him? You guys have to help. 
pink. Oh, I forgot that. Let's see, I'm gonna have to move the camera to them. And where's my last guy? There he is. Knock everything over in the process. Sorry for the shadow. There's the last one left, which I'll probably do next time just so I can get the whole set done. Because unsurprisingly, there may be something post-apocalyptic coming up. Awesome! Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me tonight. 